but we'll see if this works. Okay, so your mess. Uh, welcome to Teacher Teeth and Teachers. If uh, you're somebody who's just watching this, it's just me and Marina, and a couple other people look like they're coming in late, which is cool. Um, Marina was telling me how she is. Let me get the language right. Tinkering with Chat GPT, <laughs> and somehow it's related to a TEDx call or. Well, it's, it started uh, with that, but the thing is, so here's what started like, um, the Ted talk, like my dad's a welder mm -hmm. and, um, I had titled it like what sewing with fire and like, a, like that's a, a term in welding. And I was like, oh, I didn't want to like make the name of this podcast that because I felt like, you, you said know, sewing with fire, sewing with fire. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah. So then I like I started like I plugged it into the chat GPT and I said, can you come up with alternative names that have the same idea? <laughs> and I mean, I could hold on. Let me look back That's at cool. it. And um, and they were. Oh, yeah. Like I just said, suggest a name for a podcast that is similar to Sewing with Fire. Um, I was like, how about stitching Inferno? And I was like, nope, try again. And then <laughs> said, so say that slower. Sit what? Stitching Inferno. Inferno. Stitching Inferno. That's hilarious. So I said, no, try again. And then it said, then it said, how about flaming thread? And I said, no, try again. Mm -hmm. And they apologized for not getting it right. Then they said, but how they, about they are getting close. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Then they said, how about burning needles as a name for the podcast that's similar to Sewing Fire? And I said, no, it should be reflective of the idea of joining passions and not so literal. And then it got better. And it was like, I understand now. How about passion yeah. stitches or threads of passion as, as a name for reflects the idea of joining passions? By the way, worth reflecting, it got better, I guess. But you got mm -hmm. better, too. Uh, yes, yes, it did. <laughs> Because I was more... just saying, no, try again, no, try again. But then you got specific with what you actually wanted. I didn't hear the yeah. passions and tying passions together yeah. as a concept before. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And um, I then I just said, this is better, but can you give me more suggestions? <laughs> then they gave me a list of 10. <laughs> um, there you go. I, I picked one and I said, I like the fusion stitch but can you give me any other suggestions that are similar? And then it's, you know, great. Exclamation mark gave me 10 more. Um, and then I said, okay, I like the fusion stitch and fused passions and crafting synergy. Do you have any other suggestions like those? Something that connects to fire and welding metaphorically. They gave me 10 more. <laughs> And then and you, I wrote, you were these, patient. Yeah, go ahead. I was. Then I said, these seem forced. Anything that has more nuance or multiple meanings to it. Hmm. And um, it's funny. I haven't read it in a few days. So like, I just think it's interesting. Sure. I understand. It is interesting. Here yeah. are some other suggestions that have more nuance and multiple meanings. And I'll just read it. It's like, so I picked one of them. Um that was they said spark and stitch this name plays with the idea of a spark igniting a flame while also incorporating the word stitch to connect to crafting so then i told them i said i love spark and stitch with an exclamation mark thank you it's <laughs> and nice. they wrote me back you're welcome i'm glad i could help spark and stitch is a great start spark and stitch is a great name for a podcast that combines creativity and crafting best of luck with your podcast and then i said now we need to come up with an introduction you didn't. Did, I did, did they do it? Did they do it? <laughs> yeah, we kept going. Okay. Um, I don't know. I had like a blast doing it too. It was fun. Wait, so, like, so keep going. How far did you go? Keep going. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> so they said, sure, here's an example of an introduction you could use for the Spark and Stitch podcast. Welcome to Spark and Stitch, the podcast that celebrates the fusion of creativity and crafting. We believe that crafting is more than just a hobby. It's a way to ignite your imagination, fuel your passions, and bring your ideas to life. 
Each week, we'll explore the world of crafting and the many ways it intersects with art, design, fashion, and more. From knitting to quilting, embroidery to sewing, we'll delve into the techniques, tools, and trends that are shaping the crafting world today. But we won't just stop at the crafting table. We'll also talk to artists, designers, and makers who are pushing the boundaries of what crafting can be. We'll discover how they find inspiration, develop their skills, and turn their passions into thriving creative businesses. So if you're ready to ignite your creativity, join us on Spark and Stitch, where inspiration meets innovation and crafting takes on a whole new spark. So then I said, this is a great start, but this podcast is about leaders and the innovative steps they take to reveal the inner talents and passions of their learners. They will tell stories about their observations of the learner and the journey that the educator went on to discover more and the advice that they gave. Um, Hmm. That's specific, yeah. So then they revised it to be a lot better and, and more reflective of that. Um, so mm-hmm. it was pretty similar, but just um, with taking out like anything that really wasn't relevant to that. And then I said, okay, now please revise and note that an educator or leader could be an individual who leads another. So it could be a coach. It could be an extracurricular educator, etc. They just really made that change by the, which is pretty much hyphenated and educators of all kinds from coaches to extracurricular leaders. Um, then I said, I feel like several words are repeated too many times. Please use more variety for educators, learners, passion, and creativity. <laughs> That's cool. They, they kind of sorted it out again. And then I wrote again, this is a great introduction to the podcast. However, you still have a lot of repetition. Can you keep the same message, but reduce the number of times you say passion, creativity, and inspire? <laughs> um, <laughs> they did it. And then I wrote, <laughs> then I wrote much better. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Let me know if you need further assistance. And that's it. That, that was the end of the conversation. That's very cool. <laughs> but I had a good time. It was like kind of fun. Hi, Crystal. Hi. How are you? Hi. So Marina was tinkering with ChatGPT. She got a, a title and a, a I like the, the whole title process was really interesting. But, yeah, it was fun. But, I you know, Yeah. A title for a podcast that she wants to do. Um. And it's called Stitch, uh, Fire and Stitch? No, what I got it wrong. Spark and Fire, spark what and, we changed it to. Spark and Stitch, right? Oh, Stark, Spark and Stitch. Oh, my gosh, spark yeah. Stitch, yeah. Sewing with Fire was the TED Talk. Anyway, so. No, my dad's a welder. Um, so, like, uh, I did, like, a TEDx master class in the, like, summer to fall. And then I, I, I put... I composed and and delivered the the talk, and um, I just really wanted to keep working with it. But it it was it, you know within it was a story about my father and how he's a welder and just uh like I think like an important lesson and realization from my childhood that I reflected on even more as I was like writing the story. So I picked sewing with fire because it was really about you know, how somebody can not really completely understand your idea, but see this, that spark and and say like, okay, well, here's how we can make it happen. Um, Cool. I just, I kind of want to try one. (laughs) We'll see. (laughs) Chat GPT is helping, so. That was that was a, a that was a fascinating dialogue. So how <laughs> what what are the how would you if somebody said I've never done Chat GPT or I've done it and it's it's really dumb, how would you t- explain um, the sort of ability to have a dialogue, right? To that you that you did there. In other words. You didn't. You didn't judge. You didn't judge whether it was good or bad. You just said, "No, that's no, that's no good. Try it again." You know, you were yeah. generous and open and willing to keep going, right? Yeah. So anything else you would say? Yeah. I think that, like, I because I had done other some other stuff where I was just not really interacting with it. I was just kind of like, remember, I did the TED Talk thing for the kids, and I was like, 
Write me a TED talk that is about water pollution for eight year old. That's a pro that an eight year old might write or something. I wasn't like really going back and forth with it. I was just asking it to create something and then just saying like, oh, that's what it created. Now that's that. Um, and just like you've told told me stuff. And then my friend Alana at my, you know, who I work with at my school, she was like, no, you need to go back and ask it other stuff. And like one of her colleagues was like, you gotta go back and ask it then, <laughs> keep it, keep it going, get it refined. Like, um, so that's kind of like, I was like, all right, let me just be playful with it and see how it pans out and I'm patient with it too. Cause I did get frustrated when it gave me like all these like welding things. That's why I had to finally be like, this is not really about, this is too much about welding. That's not really what it's about. And that's so, what I did with the, the description. Okay. I was like, this is about this. And this is why it has, you know. Yeah, I don't know if you heard any of it, but the, like I had interactions where like it would, it it definitely responded to what I asked, but then I wrote to it something like, um, like okay, I like this and I like this and I like that, but do you have any, do you have suggestions like that? Something that connects to fire and welding metaphorically, and then I told it. I said these seem forced. Anything that has more nuance or multiple meanings to it. Um, but it was also that moment when you said this is about. Right. So you got really clear on your in your mind about what yeah. the podcast was about. What was that again? It was something about leadership. This is a and, podcast yeah. about educators and the innovative steps that they take. So I said, th um, just so Chris, you hear the whole thing. I said to it, I said, this is a great start, but this podcast is about educators and the innovative steps that they take to reveal the inner talents and passions of their learners. They will tell stories about their observations of the learner and the journey that the educator went on to discover more and the advice that they would give. Um, so I, I just want to figure out if I can say this in a way. So it's not only that you asked it to do something over and over again, right? Until it got it right. You also got, you also in your own mind, like got more focused, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you know, what's good about that is even when I've been like sprinkling this idea, like just casually telling people like, I want to do a podcast. And like, they're like, well, what is your whole thing going to be about? I'd be like, well, I know what in my head, but I don't really know how to explain it yet. This kind of actually helped me to this exercise in a way helped me to understand where I wanted to go with it anyway, if I'm um, going somewhere with it. Interesting. Yeah, because I was just saying, well, I know what I want, but I wasn't like clear. I didn't have like a really. Um... And it's funny because in my head, everything that started to be articulated and come out, that's kind of what I wanted. But. Cool. Um... So, anyway. like, can, can, um, Chris, do you have anything specific you want to do? <laughs> I, I'm all okay. So I. Yeah, and yeah, you and I should. Yeah, we could talk. Um, the so yeah, let, let's get some time for that. But Marina, I there's a way to play with character AI here that where you could continue this conversation in some way. Mm -hmm. It's a little different than Chat GPT. Um, can yeah, you I wanted to come to see this. Okay, so let's. I'm going to propose that you go to managing impulsivity. <laughs> There might be other ones, but it's a habit of mine, right? Managing yeah. impulsivity. And is there I've, a reason you, you're telling me you go to that one? No, there's only like because a personal a personal reason. Or? There is not a personal reason. Okay. But I, I we could go to a different one if you want to, but okay. Let's no, it's, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, you were joking. I hope no. So it's the only one I've set up on character AI. So that's oh oh, oh 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 okay okay. Just to test it out. So, but it might be interesting to see what it does. Can you share screen? Can you go to present and share screen? And but first, you want to click on right down below you on the log there. There's the icon for managing impulsivity. Click yeah, on that. Yeah, I, I did click that already. Okay, and then share your um, screen, wait, and we'll here? see what you do. Um, it's called present at the bottom. Oh, was it always present? Why didn't I not? 
I don't know. I can't keep track. I haven't been here in a while. It's all right. Okay. And then, perfect. Okay. Good? Yeah. Um, okay. I think so. It, it might be easier to read if you go to um, light instead of dark. I'm not sure how to tell you to do that, though. Uh, oh, and you will eventually have to log in. Is that on my? Is that on the the website or is that on? Yeah, my on the website. Where is that? In I don't know. So um, <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, leave, it, leave it the way it is. Are okay. you did did you log in here yet or not? No. No. Okay. So you may have to log in at some point. Oh, like here. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so I should make an account? Yes. It's I think let's see how easy it is. What? Yeah, okay. I think you can just use okay. Wow. That was pretty easy. I okay. Hope. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess we're not done yet. <laughs> You've read all of the uh, terms of service. <laughs> yes. And, and join. Ah. Where is the. It's down to the oh, right. Character? Join, join character. That's yeah, not right. a button. Way down to the right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the tab. Oh. How did I get into this? I'm not actually on my screen. Oh. That's why. So okay. you need to, you, No, I was trying to click it when, in the in Kumo space. I get it. Okay. 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 So um, now you, and let's see, you could, well, let's just search, see the search thing. Let's see if you can find. Managing impulsivity. Yeah. Mm, is that it? Nope. No. So go back to. It? It looks like I spelled it. Pulsivity. No. Do you want me to stop sharing and go in again? Yeah. Go back out. Hi, David. Welcome. All right. So oh. Marina, Marina, just to, to, yeah. And so once you're out here, now that you're logged in, if you go, David's on top of it right now, but it's okay. You can move up. Yeah. Um, hit manage and impulsivity again. And I got it. Back. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Just a um, just a quick medial summary here, <laughs> David. Uh, for David, uh, the um, Marina is. Um, I asked her what's up with you and ChatGPT, and she read this a whole dialogue. You go. You need to go back and hear it about how she, how ChatGPT helped her come up with the podcast idea, which is, I'll get it right, Spark and Thread. Is that right? I think so. Spark and it's, Stitch. Stitch. Spark and Stitch. Sewing yeah. with Fire was the TED Talk. Anyway, yes. Okay. And it's she wants to start a podcast, and she got lots of ideas and even an introduction. It helped her. Um, and, and so we, we kind of reviewed all that and why. And then I said, okay, what if you go into managing impulsivity, which is a – a um, character that I created on Character AI and trained a little bit. We could talk about how we do that training, um, and to um, give her feedback on managing her impulsivity, a habit of mine, right? And I, basically, I used um, a lot of the stuff that um, is on the um, Institute for the Habit of Mind website about this, right? To to create this, so. Why don't you tell Managing Impulsivity that how you feel about starting your new podcast? You might read it aloud. Too. Actually, oh, sure. It's okay. No, after you type it. Uh, I'm really excited to start a new podcast. I just want to start recording this second. Yep. <laughs> now, um,
Oh my gosh, a lot to okay. say. Oh, and I got a little <laughs> picture yes, too. Now slow down for a second. <laughs> so the um, let's put the sound on um, in the the th three dots in the upper right hand corner will allow you to put enable sound. It, you'll get it next time. Okay. okay. Now, just to know, um, like a lot of things in um, in AI, you don't have to accept this version of what they just wrote. You see the little arrow to the right? You can, of this the message, no, the no, one up above, one. next, no, in the middle, down, down, go to the image and then straight across to the right. <laughs> there you go. Okay. If you click there, you can get, you can have it um, give you another message. Okay. So that which is one of the ways you train this thing. Mm -hmm. You can go through. I I haven't I haven't yet run out of them. I've gone like seven or eight, and you can, and when you reject them, it re kind of understands that okay, that wasn't a good message. And then the one you keep, you can give it four stars, right? So it's that's one of the ways this gets trained. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. And it's taken us a while to learn that. So you know, at least me, I don't know. <laughs> um, so why don't you hit the, hit the, let's get another one. Just, you can always get this one back if you want. So, so hit the right arrow. This, right? Yep. You got it. We don't have to do it. Oh, cool. What is it about? Are you the host of the podcast? And what sorts of questions are you going to be asking? And will you bring up a question that you want to address? Or are you planning on having a guest interview? All right. So which response do you like better? The first one or the second one? I like the second one better, but I don't know if that's because I also heard the voice. But this one feels less like the other one was a lot. Okay. So it's very wordy. So why don't give it four stars just so you can get into the practice of this? So, you know, you don't have to do this every time. And then that image, do you like it? Not like it? I don't know. I do, but what is it like related to? What, what, how do they decide yeah, on it? So, why don't we give it three stars then? It's, it's nice, but not related. All right. I mean, I, we're just doing this there. Okay. Next, your next message. By the way, you can, you can turn the microphone on there and actually voice the message. And it oh. will type it for you. Okay. Is, okay. And the, the reason, so you see the red microphone? I think yeah, right here, can, right? I think this will work. I, yeah, it's not going to conflict that with the... I don't know. That's, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think. You know, let's try it. Okay. Now you can voice, I think. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It, got, it picked me up. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it will be about people telling stories, and I think I am just going to wing it. Did it? Oh, it didn't pick up everything. Just going. What? Okay. I'd rather type. Good. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, and just just as you're doing that, a quick sidebar. I think the image, the voice, all of that is about having a more immersive experience here. But mm -hmm. you know, if it's clunky, if it doesn't work right, it, it doesn't do that for you. Right? There you go. That sounds really cool, Lombardo Fifty One. <laughs> Will the stories be true? And will you be getting people to tell them or will you be doing the stories? How are you set up for it? What sort of equipment do you have for recording the audio? Oh, okay. So she's, I think she's trying to get me to slow down. Well, maybe. And think about stuff. So go ahead and respond. Or do you want to, or do you want us? So this is your decision point. Do you want to hear another version? Do you want to? Yeah, rate, I want to hear another version. Okay. And remember, you can always go back to that version if you like it better. Wow, that is cool. So you'll ask them, tell me your story, and they just do? Are you having friends on, or is it other people? How many people have you contacted so far? Do you have a microphone? <laughs> I'm so excited to hear about this idea. Oh my gosh.
Okay, just so you, oh, go ahead. I, I just wanted you, do you see the button to the left? If you wanted the first one back, that's how you would find it. But just so you, you can scroll back and forth. But. Okay. What did you read? Read what you I wrote. I think that oh, that might there. be a fun way to get started with your podcast idea. Here is a list of things to do to get started with your podcast idea. One, decide on your theme, your mission, why are you doing it, what are you trying to convey? What's your big idea? Two, record a short introduction that will be about 20 seconds long. Have it express why you are doing the podcast. Three, get a microphone and a way to record. Four, get a name for the podcast. You have one already. You can tell her you have one already. So as you're doing that, let me just say, I'm not sure that this is this is really filtering through the habit of mine, or if it's just giving you ideas for a podcast. Just you want say. me to use that expression, filtering through? No, no, no. I'm just, no, don't do anything from what I just said. I'm just, it's just a quick sidebar. Oh, okay. I know that sounds not nice, actually. No, it's fine. Yeah. So there, there's a thing about prompting where. Great. Where... Yes, you've already done some preliminary work with the podcast. Now let's get into the more detailed aspects of that, so that it will be great. So, is there a specific theme that you want to explore? If so, what's the theme? If you don't have one, here's a really interesting on how did you lose your faith and ask people their story for about 30 minutes or so, hmm. and then edit that into a shorter version. Just an idea. <laughs> what ideas do you have? She's very nice. Okay. <laughs> so do you, do you want that one, or do you want to see another? Um, I, I like that one. I think that was very Okay, nice. so give it a star. Give it stars, then. Yeah. Okay. Not very helpful. <laughs> I don't get the image though. Why are they giving an image? Well, I've, 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 I think, uh, I think I gave it a Georgie O'Keefe uh, theme. You can okay. change that theme, or I can. So, anyway, yeah. Hmm. Um, Should I keep going, or? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, what would I say next? So here's what I, I was going to say something about. I there is something there. I mean, one of the uh, you know every day we, another science report comes, right? But the, um, the there was one that talked about um, rehearsing what you want the bot to say. Mm -hmm. So you're saying to it, "Hey, tell me more about um, being careful and not being so impulsive and, and managing all that." is a good thing to do to get it back on track sometimes, right? So mm -hmm. to understand that it could start hallucinating and just make stuff up, like the faith thing. I mean, where'd that come from? Yeah. But, and it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing to say, hey, you're about managing impulsivity. Tell me more about that. And it gets back on track. And, oh. and I think that's, at least at this stage in how we manage these machines, I think that's a helpful thing to do. Yeah. It's both, I think. Yes. And sometimes you can tell and sometimes you can't. So I'm not sure. <laughs> it should be keyed into what you've said, and it should also be in the style of Giorgio Keith or in the style of Faith Ringle or whatever you want to put there. Hmm. Or if you don't put anything, you get kind of, it's, I don't know. In my opinion, it, 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 you just get kind of wonky images. You can also um, just turn that off. You don't have to have it on. I like, like it. Okay. Did you, did you want to go one step or do you, should we move on to something else? Yeah, let's move on. That's what I mean. Okay. Thank so <laughs> that was I, the fun. I like it. So I, the qu question, though, is. Um, 
is that personality in all the sort of, we haven't done that much work, but a little work to create it, is it much different than you're getting in ChatGPT or not, right? It's going back to the same model. Um, I think, mm. yeah, they're using OpenAI. Who was, who was I speaking to? Which character? You were speaking to managing impulsivity. Oh, it's not. Oh, each of these thumbnails here are different. I got, okay. Yes, that's right. So you don't have to answer it. I, 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 it's a question. Well, you're asking me. Um, I felt like it was more authentic. Like the conversation I shared with you about, you know, the, from the couple of days ago, that was, you know, it was, it was polite, generous. <laughs> like it wasn't like, there was like a personality a little bit to this. But mm -hmm. then I wonder, is it just because it's, there's a voice reading it too. I know it's still robot. It's not, it's still a little robotic, you know, but I don't know. I think it's probably all of that. David, welcome. Do you want to jump in? Say hello. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, me <you> too. <laughs> <laughs> but it has nothing to do with this. I don't, I don't think, unless sparking, yeah. <laughs> And how to get how to get young people and or just teachers to, to take that on and not and not just like say it's BS or it's or it's amazing it's neither amazing and it's and it's or BS it's it can be guided and like right so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think part of that is the template work we've been doing, but the to some degree but what have you been messing with it with your kids at this point or or where chris or, yeah okay good 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 um so 
I have, um, I, I think I have a, uh, I have a couple of different ways we could go. We don't have much time here. So one is, one is to think about on youth voices. I have a, a post that I think needs something and we could think about how much, what kind of AI suggestions we would give that post. Does that sound like a thing to do? What? Um, I don't know if we'll do a critique, but let me show you what I let me show you what I'm thinking. There, there's that, and then there's the other thing. Um, my guy, his name is Jeremy, um, up in he lives in Toronto, <laughs> um, has been working to, and he's just yesterday, and we've gone back and forth a half a dozen times. Um, he's created bots on now comment that allow you to. Um, choose a bot you choose a paragraph then you choose the bot and it does it uh, that bot answers that paragraph right so you can have a marxist say what they think about that paragraph or you can have tommy john say what he thinks about you know his book so there's that to mess with at some point too but let's go with the first one because if that's okay because i think okay and we could use your kid let's do that instead why not? I, I had this set up with somebody else, but um, uh, shall we use? Let's go into the front page here. So uh, uh, you will let me know who will. It does. It, is it okay to use Nico? Yeah, I'm screen sharing. Uh, Nico M, I think. Or, or how about the wrong way? That's a either one. Use the wrong way. Okay, so set this up, Chris. What what is this post about? Mm -hmm. We did actually, yeah. And and it's a it's a post in reference to this on now comment, right? And just sharing this story here. Okay. Um and it's a six week project or so, and it's so but I know I know this, but others yeah, explain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're doing different research at different times, finding sources. Okay. But but a media audience is already youth voices, right? I mean, and and the people and the other students there, who will you know will give her feedback on it. So I'm opening AI Mojo. I'm going to try to move something here. It's out in my way. Okay. All right. So um, Chris, if you haven't been here in a while. Um, by that, I mean in the last five days. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, so let me just quickly show you that this now has um, a quick access page. There's a little button here. Everybody's, everybody sets up their own. You can, you can choose, you know, from the 80 or, or your teacher can tell you which ones. It's unfortunately not blank. It has like some standard ones in there. So it's a, it's a mechanism. There are little arrows. You can just throw everything on the left side. And if it's on the left side, you don't see it. If it's on the right side, you do. Okay. You, you can work it out. 
Um, let me just say that if you had nothing else in mind, uh, revising 12, 13, 14, and 15 um, is, are, are a little good standbys, but it could also be blank there. It's up to you. All right. And then the next one is templates, and then there's results, and then there's the playground. I so The wizard scares me. There are notes, and then there's Dali. And then what's kind of cool is uh, chat GPT is here now right as well so they can actually use chat gpt right here um why they use all the other stuff has to do with some of what david was saying i think about it's it's how to kind of i don't know i think we want to do both we want to see what they can discover on chat gpt at times and at other times we want them to try to do something thoughtful interesting interesting thing we can do um chris you and i or anybody who's a I, everyone here's an a teacher on it. We can create personas. So I've used the habits of mind again. So you can have a persona here and and have it do sift for reliability, for example, right? And you can put a, a, a website in and have it sift for the reliability of that. I'm going too many details here, but let's do that one. That's it. Or yeah, go ahead. Tell me what. Let's go back to the templates. Yeah. It's the dashboard, yeah. I mean, it's the quick access, yeah. That's right. And so you can deal with the quick access or not, or at a later point. Oh, but okay, but okay, so she would have to go to templates. Oh, that's so okay, let's start there. So we we want to revise this text. We're going to go to templates and we're just going to go, oh, my teacher told me to look for Sayback. I don't even know what that is, but here I'll do it. <laughs> then I go to the bottom paragraph, I click on it. And I go to a little plus sign over here, and I insert everything. So there's my whole article inserted here. Hmm. Got that? All right. Then I hit generate. We haven't read the article, so um, let's see what it gave us. It said, I'm curious about the potential impact of the not much say back. Interesting. I'm curious about the potential impact of the incident on wider school district and how it will affect the students treated in the future. Um, I'm okay with, you know, not being terribly impressed by that yet, <laughs> but worth, worth going back and saying, Hey, do it again. Notice up here in the, it does say do it three times. Did I get the whole text? It's much shorter than I thought it'd be. I did, yeah, it's okay. Oh. Oh, I could change that. Right. And it's it's tokens, yeah. Yeah, sure. Should well, let's let's look at the third one though. It's, it's uh, the story raises important questions about how school districts can address food waste without sacrificing student well-being. It also brings up the issue of racism in schools and how it affects students of color. It's, this is decent. I would be interesting to explore how this case can help inform other school districts about how to approach food waste in a more equitable manner. I will uh, reveal that, <laughs> reveal. I asked it to do, like I found somebody's description of active listening. It was from Bard College, actually. And, um, and then I, but then I said, ask at the end, try not to pose a question, but try to show what you're interested in exploring more about, right? So. It's a template, yep. That's right. So let, let's just, so how helpful that is for a writer is our question, right? Sure. 
Right. So would you know what, I don't know. Okay, next we're gonna go to, um, what was the second one? <laughs> I did go check. Pointing. So pointing I think is questions, but we'll see. Oh, there it is. Select pointing. Now, as the writer, she might decide, you know, I never get anything out of say back, so I'm not even going to do that one, right? Um, which is an, a good example, I think, again, of something I'm seeing over and over again is that I think AI has the potential for taking a kid's own questions and issues and what they what they do well and um and going from that which is why why i keep calling it an emergent ai curriculum or discourse but let me not okay here's here's her it's all back in here again we could increase this so let's let's leave it and see what happens we're going to generate same article, different template. Yeah. Oh, and pointing isn't questions, right? Pointing it. Okay, so should I read it? When the, you, you got it. We could we we could do it again, right, and get a different result. But let's let's go back and now uh, let's lurk, okay? <laughs> there. Um. I think that, that, that you know, um, Peter Elbow did uh, the pre-college writing institute at Bard College, and this came from some of that work. So it, I think it some of it points directly back to his writing. But so I I think Larkin does. But all right, so we get a list of questions. What other ways could the school have gone about curbing food waste? What are the effects this may have? What effects might this system have had on the school? What else can be said about the implications of a white cafeteria monitor's actions on a student of color? What other perspectives could be included in this text to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the incident? And what could be said about the context of food waste and its implications on a larger social level? Mm -hmm. So one of the things we don't know is, does this help the writer or not? And we're not going to know until they try it, right? <laughs> and and not everything's going to work either. <laughs> That's right. Um, and the last one was, and this takes a moment, but so this is a dear reader letter. Gives you an opportunity to say, um, Hey, I wish I could, I'm making this up, right? Uh, to bigger global This could be an extensive letter and there is, um, let me just I'm going to lose this maybe if I do this. So let me just see. If, I forget what the example. Yeah, I did give a template. Here's your for what you could write in this, right? If you want it. But I'm just going to use that and see what we get. We're going to put the text back in here again in the third box, insert everything, and we're going to generate. 
So in theory, the the more thoughtful you are about your letter, the better response you'll get. But let's see what happens. Do you want to read it, Chris? <laughs> if you don't mind. Hmm. So, and worth noting, you know, we have all of these here to review, right? And think about, and then we can go right up here and do the revision which is kind of the goal is to have it kind of together, right? <laughs> In some way. Um, just quick note, um, you can always add this to a note. And when you do that, it goes over into notes over here, right? So you could collect all these into notes. Um, when you turn your browser off, you lose it all, but, um, but you could, you know, it's a, a a way to copy and paste. The the eighth graders in New Jersey who are <laughs> um, the teacher, she's wonderful to work with around this stuff because she just says do whatever you want, <laughs> and they've just said, oh, let me try this one, let me try that template, let me try this template. So that's interesting. <laughs> um, and what she's having them do is like copy what they get from the templates onto their documents and then think about them and talk back to them and so forth. Not sure how that will eventually become something, right? But that's where we are with that. Or even just one of those questions gets me going, right? Yeah. I mean, I would, I that I feel like that, yeah. I feel like that that would be the good thing to do, yeah, if possible. Um, and or do like, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, but. But, OK, so so let's go back and yeah, go, go, OK. So uh, yeah, yeah. So I'll just say very, very fast. The the um, I I chose the whole text. You could just choose a sentence or a paragraph, and get feedback on that. So yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Chris. See you. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see. Yeah, Marina, um, you have anything you want to add at the end here, or you're thinking or? Oh, you know, I'm I'm already like looking up something else. <laughs> like it's okay. it's good. I'm always You're doing your podcast. Right? Yeah. So here's here, <laughs> I would love to see what you would bring to your third grade kids in terms of characters. Mm -hmm. Like, can you imagine a story where they go in and talk to somebody? Um, it would obviously be through your account, right? But you could, you might be able to create a character from a book 
that they're reading or something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or or an inquiry that they're doing or something and mm -hmm. have them talk to that person about what they're doing does that the spark or stitch anything for you <laughs> um no i think that's a really great uh, I, like way to think about it um yeah i definitely want to show it to alana and see what she thinks you know she's doing a lot of work around um that's all the of tech, the two tech outside person? of yeah the, she's the director of technology at my school um she's doing a lot of works outside of um our our school you know she has done like two she's hosted like two um I guess they were web, 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 no, no, they weren't webs. They were interactive workshops um, on one on just chat GBT. And then they, they actually, for the last one, I guess it was like last Monday, they had an art educator, an art and steam educator come in and um, he, he shared how he uses um, AI with his students. So it's kind of cool because her and her co um, her colleague that are running these the series they then they have, they have the breakout rooms and you can pick which where you go into and you can talk about different ideas and cool. you know there's been a couple elementary teachers not not as as many but um a few that uh have given me some good ideas too but i think mostly i'm just like i'm still kind of like tinkering around with it too like with like mentor pieces sometimes you know like that was mm -hmm. for me that was like the first so really it creates a mentor text for you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing so much, especially at the beginning. David, you'll have to go back and hear her whole chat GPT story. It was a great story. Um, and uh, yeah. great. Good to see you. Good to Talk see you. Talk to you all soon. See you okay. soon. Bye. Bye. Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> I went in at the beginning and, and asked, you know, I feel like I'm too enthusiastic about this and I want to listen listen better. So I did that. Anyway, I said, go ahead, do it, listen. All right. And, and she had a great story to tell and she wasn't sure she wanted to. And, uh, yeah, so I think listening to what teachers are doing is really the next step here. But so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm that that jumping into the river moment though is i think i think what this stuff is all about so yeah 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 so right now yeah all right Good to touch base again. Talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, you too.